Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K here, and today we've got some pretty awesome stuff to go through. So, we have the final Marvel comic drop coming up tomorrow. I say final um, for this week because we are going to have other ones. Um, they've said that they have a whole, you know, library full of Marvel comics that they can do. But, we do have a premium Marvel drop coming up as well. So, this is going to be a collectible drop. I'm just going to be talking a little bit about that and how that's going to impact the market, um, just on the market impact point. Just wanted to touch a little bit on what's going on with the uh, current NFT valuations. Um, and we also have um, some pretty cool updates with regards to what we can expect coming next month. So, next month is probably going to be my most bullish month of Ecomi so far. Um, I know things have been going kind of a bit slow, but all of the stuff that, you know, had been kind of being put off, kind of, you know, had some kinks to work out in it, it's all pretty much coming in one go now. So pretty exciting stuff. Um, and I did also just want to touch on the price of Omi for today. So firstly, we had the X-Men drop, the House of X. Now I did get, uh, I wouldn't say I'm like lucky, but I've been breaking even. So I did manage to get an ultra rare, which was five nine. Was it five four nine six? So yeah, that's an okay mint number. It is an ultra rare, so that did kind of help me break even. Um, I was getting like you know around about between thirteen fourteen boxes, and this I think is for like going for about eighty ninety gems right now. Um, so I believe that what's going to happen is as we get more comic drops, um, as we get you know more kind of premium drops the value of these kind of secret rare comic books will get diluted over time um i think the only one that's going to truly hold value is that number one unless we get like something else that's like you know super big super cool but yeah that number one i think is going to hold the most value just because it's the first marvel comic the first nft marvel comic as well um and you know pretty much like if, it is the first of the first so that will hold value um and then i believe that we will start to see a lot of the kind of og collectors coming and completing the older sets because they know the value of that so i believe that you know the newer and like ultra rare secret rares, they will be a bit more volatile but the older ones because they've kind of already found their floor price those will kind of just uh over time gradually move up that's the way that i see it um now with regards to um the AMA that Dan did yesterday with uh, Wormhole Labs. So I just wanted to play this short clip because this is a clip uh, based off of a question that I asked Dan. So I asked Dan, um, will, well, when we get gamification in Vivi, will there be the option to burn Omi with it? And this is just kind of what Dan's answer was. So I'll just play this for you guys. Yeah, the gamification side of Vivi is definitely an evolution. Um, will there be ways that you can burn Omi? Absolutely. And, you know, that's um, one of some of the news that we'll be releasing with the, uh, with the Master Collector program um, is, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of options for, for burning in the, in the interim. Uh, and then when the VVverse opens, we'll announce uh, a whole bunch of other cool things. Love it. Can't wait. That, yeah. Big... Okay. So we heard it right from dan now uh, just from like kind of like dan's uh, tone of voice and body language it sounds like he's trying to hold back some pretty cool stuff but yeah we're going to be getting the gamification and additional omi burn from master collector program um so i've heard this multiple multiple times that master collector program will implement some kind of omi burn so that is a new type of omi burn um, we're going to be getting omi burn from the vv verse as well so gamification on that side um, because a lot of people have been kind of asking about gamification since blockchain gaming is becoming pretty huge, you know, Axie Infinity, Alluvium, um, I got into another one called Monster Infinite quite recently, so it, it, it's becoming a huge thing and VV is a very adaptable company, you know, if anything's big and VV can kind of see it, like, they will probably look, at least explore it as an gamification option. Gamification side of VV. So, yeah, um, and I just wanted to make that point clear because you know, a month ago, a couple of months ago, I w we were constantly seeing all these people, you know, like, you know, experts in crypto, um, whatnot, kind of modeling Omi Burn, saying, hey, I you know I've like created this model. I'm like, you know, I think Omi's going to take forever to reach, you know, even 10 cents. Um, I'm going to, you know, pull out all my investments from Omi because it's not going to go anywhere, etc., etc. But all at the same time they built these models based off of you know the assumption that we never ever get any additional burn 
And that's just not, you know, what Ecomi is about. They've said before that there's going to be loads and loads of burn. Like, we've literally seen nothing. Uh, so, you know, it, take it for what it is. We're going to get more burn uh, from the Master Collector program. We're going to be getting more burn from the Viviverse. Um, a while ago, you know, what sparked me to raise this debate was um, when Reese did his AMA with Taps Trade. Uh, Reese said that there was going to be additional Omi burn events. So certain drops might have like a times two Omi burn or a times four, times five Omi burn. Um, that, that's just, you know, another option as well. Um, there's additional Omi burn that we can get from the subscription model that they um, planned in their very, very early roadmap. So you pay like a subscription fee to burn Omi and at the same time, you get like a gold gem as part of the service, which you can, you know, redeem against exclusive drops. Um, all of this stuff is kind of like in their really old roadmap that you might be able to find. So, yeah, there's like so many different ways we can burn Omi. And we're going to start to see a few of these, you know, towards the end of this year. And from there, once we also have the additional liquidity, once we've got the MTL, like Omi is going to be in such a good position. Um, and I think people are starting to notice now, like the market, I've noticed that there have been much larger buy walls coming in like yeah there are a few people who might be trying to suppress the price of omi they're constantly dumping and rebuying but now i'm starting to see a lot more kind of you know big chunky buy walls that are coming in and that i think is you know we're going to start to see some uptrends um gradually as next month rolls in so um with the comic book so tomorrow we have our third and final uh comic book of this week and it is marvel's number one now this is Alex Ross, we've seen some of Alex Ross's work already. And again, 600 secret rares, so 1% chance for getting these. I believe these will probably, you know, when the market opens, be going for around about 1.2K. Um, and then as, you know, the FOMO kind of dies down, we could probably see this for about 800-ish. Um, but this one I think will hold better value um, because it does have Captain America on the secret rare, which is pretty cool. Um, the ultra rare just looks like a kind of tsunami thing going on um so you know it's like the least uh you know least exciting looking one to me um uh, just because all of these have like a pretty cool character on there uh, i think that's the human torch and then we've got captain america but we should also be seeing a premium drop this week as well so that is going to be your standard kind of you know you pick what you want kind of drop so be prepared for a lot of competition I think um, a lot of the kind of uh, flippers and bars, they kind of uh, sat out of the blind boxes just because you're not guaranteed to make profit. So, yeah, get ready for some hardcore competition for whatever it is. But that being said, we know that Dan said that it's probably going to be an expensive one. So um, we know that the Spider-Man secret rare, you needed 250 gems for the secret rare on that. I believe this one that's coming up will be comparable. So once that's announced, what do I think is going to happen? Well, pretty much all the collectibles on the market, especially the new ones, the prices on those are going to dump and they're going to dump pretty hard. Um, that's just how it is with any of these quite expensive collectibles. So I would say, you know, if you're not too interested in what the drop is, you know, this is going to be your chance to get some really cheap stuff and then maybe sell back when the market rebounds. So, you know, there are a few collectibles I've been looking at. Um, Spider-Man Secret Rare, for example, I probably won't touch it until it hits at least 1.2. Um, I was going to look at Lucky about 1.1, 1K, uh, but now I'm kind of like not that interested in it. So, you know, may maybe I'll pick it up if it ever hits like 800. Um, and yeah, I mean, if there are any sets you want to complete, then this week might be the time to do it when they announce that premium drop, wherever it is. I personally think it might be something four related. Um, but if we don't get four, then who knows what it is. Maybe it could be Iron Man, but um, I personally think it's probably going to be something four related. Um, now, lastly, what I wanted to touch on is the price of Omi for today. So we have some pretty interesting movement. We have been having a bit more of an uptrend the past couple of days. Um, but, you know, we are still ch staying in this kind of channel here. Um, the zone, nothing too crazy. I mean, if I zoom back out, you can see that Omi it pretty much you know after the marvel hype over here um we pretty much just came straight down to this key point of support and we've just been trading sideways um, now that i've zoomed out you guys can just see we have been trading pretty much like 
within this uh, zone here. Do I see us breaking out? Well, we did touch the uh, key point of resistance here. We just wicked that to the exact level and we appear to be heading back upwards again. I believe it could be people starting uh, to accumulate um, or have been accumulating with the uh, news on Immutable X, MTL. Um, and now that we've had some additional news, uh, some confirmation on additional Omi burn, so we're going to be getting Omi burn from the Master Collector program, Omi burn from the VVverse, that is just going to apply a lot more um, kind of pressure to increase the value of Omi to kind of balance out with how much we're going to be burning. So we'll just have to see just how effective those burns are, but once we move over, we'll start to see the buybacks come in as well um, more regularly. So the buybacks will put on pause for now because it is a manual very manual process they want to automate it and that will be kind of easier once they're on immutable x anyway so yeah a lot of cool stuff to look forward to um september like dan said it's a very very exciting month i'm pretty excited for what's to come in september um and that is just you know about a week away so next month or let's say next week we're going to start to see some pretty cool stuff in the land of eevee so yeah that's pretty much everything i want to go through with you guys today thanks so much for watching please do like subscribe to support the content and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya